What's up guys and gals, your host with the most griever as always, bringing you guys Ayakashi Triangle Chapter 67. Let's get underway. Very short review because they save Hinojiki. That's basically the chapter. They save Hinojiki uh, and we get a conversation between Shadow Mai and Garaku and then we get a sort of a post uh, after the battle sort of scene as well. But for the most part, it went basically as we could expect. Um, pretty much Hinojiki is just basically, there's nothing new relatively information here. Uh, Hinojiki is simply recycling the whole, back then Suzu cried for me, now I'm crying for you, I don't want to hurt you Suzu Kanade, I don't want to hurt you Matsuri, I don't want to hurt anybody, you know, I'm, I'm a Jinyo who has no appetite anymore, please don't let, run away, don't let me hurt you, blah blah blah, and we go into that stuff, but at the end of the day, uh, between Matsuri's inner storm jutsu and Suzu being able to uh, grab the black origami out of him, uh, apparently he comes back. Hinojiki is not back in his adult form, but still back in the chibi form. He doesn't need the, uh, by the looks of it, he's still got one eye closed, but doesn't need the eye patch or whatever anymore by the looks of it. And welcome back, and he's all good. Then we jump into the uh, next scene, which as I said was Garaku and Shadow Mai, where Shadow Mai is definitely very, uh, very teasing here of course she's quite sadistic she's quite evil like are you happy that you get to see me naked garaku and stuff like that very very oh uh, like high and mighty very boa hancock acting you know sort of style of her um definitely not what garaku wants or expects but uh he responds quite harshly and says i'm a painter i lack those kind of feelings like this is painting and stuff so healing up all the wounds that damaged her before with uh with the paint uh you know, it's basically, you know, he's painting Ayakashi energy on her or whatever, and it's healing up her body or something like that. So, um, either way, um, there's apparently a suggestion that Garaku gives to Mai. We don't hear the suggestion, and then Mai says, oh, it's interesting. And then we move on to the last part of the chapter. As I said, very, very short chapter. It felt incredibly short because nothing really of note happened other than they saved Hinojiki. The fight ensues. They save Hinojiki from the end of the last chapter. We have the implication that Garaku and Mai have a strained relationship here and uh, and that uh, Garaku has made a suggestion about maybe how to deal with Suzu and Matsuri in the future. And so maybe there's going to be another puppet. Maybe there's going to be something else. We don't know what it's going to be and we have no real implications of what uh, Garaku's plan is going forward. Now, the last scene of the chapter, we do get um, Hinojiki is in the in the end of the day, gets his eye patch back, and is going to leave. Uh, he says he's going to try to become an Ayakashi that can repay you one day uh, to make up for all the Ayakashi that I've killed, etc., etc. So Hinojiki has become sort of, once again, the anti-hero. He's not going to stick around, but I'm sure he'll show up in a meaningful battle sort of idea. Very classic shonen, very... You know, we, we've seen that trope many, many times, but it works here, and we sort of expected it. I didn't expect Hinojiki, once they said him to stick around, he's going to be the lone ranger, the lone wolf. He's going to walk away. He's going to be doing his own thing, and then he'll be called in. Him and another character will show up be like, heard you needed a hand, Matsuri. Hinojiki and Garaku, or what what have you, right? It'll be like, oh, they'll show up, and they'll tag him and be like, let us take care of these small fry. You go save Suzu, you know. That kind of thing, right? We're going to have some scene like that. Very tropey, but very good. When written well, it'll be done good. And Hinojiki is our first major villain we, that we got that was actually interesting. Uh, so I would argue that uh, having Hinojiki turn sort of anti-hero is fine. It, it does work for the character and stuff. So, uh, And they do offer the whole living with them sort of idea. Um, but they said, no, don't want to cause any more trouble. I'm just going to leave, blah, blah, blah. And this is where Matsuri now... As we remember, and it's actually mentioned by Matsuri's grandfather in this chapter, uh, that you need a lot more training to control the inner storm jutsu that we saw uh, last chapter and this chapter. The reason it's a super advanced technique and the reason Matsuri was not taught it formally because uh, he can't control it yet. The only reason that he's able to control it is because of the seal, Gardaku seal, as, uh, and this actually makes sense. Uh, Grandpa Matsuri, basically, Kazumaki shows uh, and states that, of course, we had the Ichi moment with it. It bursts her clothing and whatever. But uh, uh, he states that because the seal was on there, your wind couldn't be expelled anyways. So you were able to use the inner storm jutsu because your, your jutsu had nowhere to go. 
So of course you'd be able to use the technique because you basically had training wheels on with the seal. Now that the seal broke, you're not going to be able to use inner storm jutsu that easily because you don't you lack the necessary training to be able to control all the wind inside you without expelling it forward. So because it's a very powerful advanced technique of the wind jutsu line. So uh, Grandpa Kazumaki does explain this at the end of the chapter. Hinojiki does move on and stuff like that. We get the classic Shirogane shameless, you know, that idea. And uh, either way, uh, we get our Ichi moment and stuff like that. Of course, we need like, it's like one to two per every chapter sort of idea, you know, just to keep the readers invested, I guess, or keep their eyes invested anyways. Um, but anyways... Not a bad chapter. I don't know what the direction of the next chapter is going to be. Is it going to be a little bit of fluff? Is it just going to be, you know, like, all right, we're going to do some filler before we get to the what is Garaku's suggestion? What is his plan? What is he going to do next? Are they going to employ different Ayakashi from different regions? Who the hell knows what's going to happen? Are we going to meet new characters? Possibly, maybe they'll infiltrate the school as a schoolmate or something like that. Maybe they'll try that method again. God knows what it's going to be, but either way... Uh, not a bad chapter. It's the conclusion of the Hinojiki stuff for now. I doubt we'll see Hinojiki for about 10 to 20 chapters at least, but it uh, depends on the pacing of the manga series as well. So what did you guys think of the chapter though? Like, comment, subscribe as always. Don't forget the fourth and most important thing to drink responsibly as always, as I always do. And we will see you guys back here next time for chapter 68 of Ayakashi Triangle. Looking forward to it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are too. See you back here next time.